Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, for to my brethren all around the world, my boxing, all the boxing fans around the world, all the loyal subscribers who tune in day in and day out of True School Sports. Appreciate all of you guys. Love all of you guys. For those of you wondering, on the television, we have Larry Holmes versus Lucien Rodriguez. This was the 14th defense of Larry Holmes' uh, linear heavyweight championship. So that, just in case you're wondering, that, that's what the, that's what, that's just playing behind me. But interesting news in the boxing world. We have we have uh, Dan Ray Raphael, you know, very uh, well-respected uh, by some people, you know. Very cre credible source, respected by some, but credible to all. Um, Dan Raphael. Um, of ESPN, the lead boxing writer, he recently revealed revealed some interesting interesting information in regards to just ESPN, their deal with Top Rank, and just what the, the plans they have for their up for their future big fights. Um, and and something one thing that I revealed, and I'm I'm gonna leave you guys the interview, the audio down below, so you guys can listen to what Dan Murphy had to say about this and and the, and the insight he gave into this. But basically, he revealed that ESPN has plans with Top Rank to you know for their bigger matchups right because you know top rank has some has some pretty big mega fights on the table you know we're talking about lomachenko crawford crawford maybe a versus a thurman something like that you know uh but mainly, mainly, mainly like a fight more like crawford you know lomachenko just, you know top rank fights um you know they have plans to make future pay-per-view pay fights on the espn top rank platform and he revealed that you know, a guy like Terrence Crawford could be fighting a guy like Earl Spence and Keith Thurman, uh, Vasil Lomachenko on pay-per-view, ESPN pay-per-view. Now, for those of you who are not old enough to remember this, um, back in the day, you know, there was a very short, brief time where ESPN and uh, Friday Night Fights, that franchise, they tried to do a pay-per-view series. Um, and this is back around 2005. You know, I, I remember one fight that I that I actually watched uh, growing up younger. I uh, I had a chance to watch uh, Calvin Brock versus Jamil Big Time McCline, and that was an ESPN pay per view fight back then. And um, you know, it was a good fight, but ultimately, it was the at, following that fight, the pay per view for ESPN thing wasn't something that they stuck with for a long time. So clearly, it wasn't successful enough to them. So it's going to be have to be done uh, differently, and it can be done differently because obviously the world has changed. Social media, uh, media has changed since since two thousand five, and um, I just feel like like and I think I, I find it very interesting. Like if if there's if if you're a boxing fan, right? Or even if you're not a boxing fan, let's say they make a big fight like Crawford Spence. That, that that's a big fight people are talking about. You know, if if ESP if uh, a big fight like Terence Crawford versus Earl Spence was to be made, then you know I find it very interesting because. That's going to be on the ESPN platform. ESPN will be able to do the build up the entire fight, which I think would be great. And it'll it'll get the fight more um, interest and then get the fighters more money, which ultimately I think is great for the fighters as well. Um, if they're going to be in big fights, taking a risk like that. Um, now, I did have something I, I did have an issue when, when you guys go listen to the, 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 the audio, you'll, you'll, you'll hear them say like, oh, uh, you know, if they're if if, if ESPN is going to go this route, they got they can't be having you know Terrence Crawford fight like a C level guy like Jeff Horn, which I thought was ridiculous because Jeff Horn I think has proven he's not a C level guy, especially in the Manny Pacquiao fight. I didn't think he won the fight, but he was not. He's not a C level guy. He's not a C level fighter, and he's going to give Terrence Crawford problems. I think he's going to give Terrence Crawford some tough rounds. So they got to take they're going to they'll, they'll, they'll have to retract those statements later on. But what I'm saying is this. Um, I think it's important for ESPN when they if 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 their intention is with top rank to make pay per view fights in the future. First of all, there already has to be agreements in place, like, and we're talking a year, maybe a year and a half to two years in advance. There has to be agreements in place for Crawford to be fighting guys like Earl Spence and Keith or any, anybody who's affiliated with Al Heyman. There has to be agreements in place, or at least dialogue, if not an agreement, dialogue between. The promoter between the network, so that when the time comes to make those big fights, that they can make those fights as such. Um, you know, I, Crawford Spence is, is going to be a big fight. If, if Crawford really is what, what many of us think he is, and, and and that is, you know, one of the best pound for pound fighters in the sports today, then 
um, as long as he keeps winning, as long as Spence keep winning, that has a chance to be the the Tommy the Tommy Hearns Sugar Ray Leonard fight of our generation. And I think I'm quoting my boy Sean Tatel when I say that because I, I think he might have said that, um, but I'm not sure. So Sean Tatel, if you did say that, Sean, we hung out one time. Shout out to you. But um, it has a chance to be a massive fight. It has a chance to be a massive fight. But I think what ESPN and Top Rank have a chance to do with the, with the public. Especially with boxing, is, is is recapture the imagination of of the, of the of the very large percentage of the American public that has lost interest in boxing for whatever reason, whether it be, you know, bad decisions, bad matchups, uh, lack of the best fight, the best, you know, there's now there's now a chance for them to do that with this platform. Um, so I think if 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 the plan is to have Crawford fight as Spence, then it's important to get Crawford and Spence, you know, as much exposure as possible. I know. Spence is not a top ranked fighter, so mainly Crawford. Crawford needs to be fighting actively as much as possible on ESPN. When his fights happen, they need to be getting lot. They need to be getting lots of coverage, tons of coverage with the with, with the buildups to his fights. Um, and people need to the world needs to find out who these guys are. So you need to, like 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 the world needs to find out who Terrence Crawford is. Like like right right now, am I right? You got Larry Holmes playing on the right of me. Larry Holmes was was popular because you know he was fighting on network television all the time, all the time he was fighting. So it's a, it's 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 the same approach. It's, it's not rocket science. If they want the fights to be big and they want to be able to make the pay per view through the ESPN platform, then these fighters need to be fighting consistently. And and I think Jeff Horn is a good fight um, for Terrence Crawford to get his name out there because Jeff Horn. While he's not a, a massively big name, people are gonna know. Oh, he's a guy that beat Manny Pacquiao. He's a guy that paid like Pacquiao fought last, so he's gonna have the chance to to do something Pacquiao couldn't do, and you know, on paper at least, get a, a decision against Jeff Horn. Um, but my thing is this: I don't, I, I, I want to ask this to you guys who are watching, still seven minutes and ten seconds in. Um, when Crawford Spence becomes a thing, right? If 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 that's a fight that. Top rank looks at putting on the ESPN platform as an ESPN pay per view fight, um, or Crawford Lomachenko. Are these fights that you, the consumer, you, the fan, you, the boxing world, the boxing fan, are willing to pay for? Um, and I, I, I'm sure the answer for a lot of you guys who can afford it, you know, because I know not everybody has uh, has it in them financially to to, to do it, but. Um, is it something you paid for? Because a lot of it too is like, like, what is the what are you guys, the consumers, willing to pay for the fights? Um, I think it's good. I, I, I honestly think it, it won't do boxing any harm if they decide to put certain big box office level fights on ESPN, um, pay per view. That is, you know, so like if it's a Crawford Spence. And and that that's a fight that I'd pay twenty dollars, thirty dollars, forty dollars for, you know, because those are two. High level talents, two of the best you'll get, and uh, who knows when they fight, they might still be both undefeated at the top of the division. So it's gonna have, it's gonna be, it's gonna mean something, maybe a couple of years down the road. But that's the news. I know I've been rambling because um, I, I really kind of just wanted to uh, get you guys up to speed on that. But yeah, Dan Raphael basically just revealed that ESPN does have plans for pay per view fights in the future. Um, is this good for boxing? Is it bad for boxing? Um, I want to hear from you guys. I want, I want you guys' opinion on that. Um, I don't think it's bad. I, 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 I'll give you guys both perspectives. From the fans' perspective, it'll only be good or bad for boxing depending on ESPN and Top Rank handle that situation. If ESPN and Top Rank do the, the, the diligence, and we're seeing Jeff, we're seeing uh, Terrence Crawford, uh, Vasily Lomachenko, uh, even like a, if Jeff Horn winds up becoming more than what we think, Jeff Horn, um, you know, just guys in their stable that that, that they have to promote. You know, if we see those guys fight consistently and the American public, the American sports public, not the boxing public, but the American sports public at large, if they can get themselves familiar with some of these names that Top Rank has in their stable, then you can then put yourself in a position to make here you fight because you'll have people knowing who these guys are and interested in who these guys are. And um, if, if you guys can do that, then it'll be good for boxing. If not, it'll be terrible for boxing as the numbers won't do well, the fighters won't will lose out, you'll lose out, and it'll be bad for business. But ultimately, 
it's the ball. The ball is on top rank in ESPN's court. Um, from the fighters' perspective, this can only be great for them. You know, pay per view fights are what you want as a fighter because pay per view fights mean you've reached the highest levels of boxing. That you're in an important fight. That you know, ultimately, if if, if the pay per view does well, you're gonna get a lot of money on the back end, and, and that that's gonna bow well for you. That's gonna bow well for your bank account, bank account, and that's gonna bow well for your family, and, and ultimately your your, your uh your quality of life and, and, and as a fighter that's all you're fighting for that's a big part of the reason you fight is the quality of life the quality of your life the quality of your family's life the quality of your significant other's li- a life and everybody around you so that's my opinion on it but i want to, i want to hear from you guys uh espn and top rank do have plans to make pay-per-view fights sometime in the future what do you guys think about this is it good or bad for boxing let me know get spirited in the comment section I want to hear your opinion. I love hearing from you guys. So let me leave it in the comment section. I'll take the time to subscribe, show True School Sports and myself love on YouTube and the Instagram at True School Sports. And like I say it in almost every video, pretty much every video, my name is Brendan Taylor. And you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.